Right. I was just told that the mayor will be speaking with us next, so just hang tight. But we're at Centennial Olympic uh, Drive in Marietta, this intersection, obviously where everyone continues to meet night after night after night, day after day. And the mayor is now walking with protesters. Back mayor up, Bottoms, up. why did you want to come out here and walk with these demonstrators? I wanted to come out here and be a part of the energy that's happening in our city. And you so can hear this is not something that I planned. It wasn't safe and organized, but I want to be. I mean, there's a movement happening across this country right now, and obviously I have a very big job as mayor to oversee what's happening, but also I'm just yeah, that's a part to be a part of the solution. What do you say to people? You can obviously hear people saying, lift the curfew, you know, try to remove the National Guard. What do you say to that criticism? You know, what we saw happen on Friday um, was really putting the peaceful protesters in as much harm as anybody in harm's way. So I don't want the National Guards on our streets any more than anybody else does. I don't want to curse you in our city. Um, and once we're able to stabilize things in our city, we'll be able to move back to some normalcy. There's obviously a lot of people surrounding you. How do you feel in this moment? Moment. What's that? So there's a lot of people surrounding you. How do you feel in this moment? I mean, there's a, there's a lot of energy, and it, it, uh, it ranges. It's ranging from anger to, to sadness. I mean, it's, we're, we're feeling lonely. There's been a lot that's happened in Atlanta this past week with some of those officers getting fired, some of the other ones facing charges. She wants to come to the people, Keisha. Is Atlanta come leading the, the, the change? Is Atlanta leading the charge and changing the way things are? The people want the people want to be in the The people want to be in the park. The people want the National Guard out of the streets of Atlanta. Thank you so much, Mayor Bottoms. You can hear it's, it's incredibly loud right now. She is just swarmed and surrounded by people who, some of them are just screaming at her. Others want to talk with her, but she says this was not planned. She just wanted to get out here and walk with some of these demonstrators. She does have her security here, obviously, but just take a look. The crowd is just huge. The crowd is huge, and they are really just swarming the mayor right now. But she wanted to be on the streets of Atlanta with these demonstrators. You know, she supports these peaceful protests. It's, she was just saying, you know, she does not support the, the violence and the chaos and the rioting that we saw on Friday. She knows it's all started Friday. She might be speaking to the crowd right now. One second. Everybody quiet. I believe she's telling the crowd to keep it moving, keep it moving. You can imagine how hard it is for her to walk in the middle of all of this. See what she's trying to say. And Ashley, as you're Ashley, as you're trying to, to get closer to her to get your microphone so we can hear some of the conversation, uh, there is uh, someone with a loud megaphone speaker. It sounds like, and they're just screaming, "Send the uh, National Guard home!" Is that what they're? Is that part of the criticism she's getting out there? Sure. Uh, that woman with the, the megaphone is saying to send the guard home. She wants the curfew lifted. Um, she says the mayor is not supporting them. And, and I did ask the mayor about that criticism. And you'll hear she says, you know, she doesn't want the National Guard here either. But on Friday, we obviously all of us saw what happened in the city and on the streets. Uh, of Atlanta and so she doesn't want that happening again she doesn't want her city to face and so this you know these are the consequences really this is uh, what we have to do to keep that violence from occurring night after night after night she's in the middle of that circle there I'll tell you it is so hard to get to her uh, but it looks it's like she's, she's trying to speak with that woman with the megaphone right and you know actually our mayor is, see if I could has try become to get somewhat in. of a celebrity uh, yeah. not only here in Atlanta Ashley but she's getting uh, some some uh, Hollywood love. She's going to be uh, doing uh, the show with Ellen coming up this week, even though it's not on our network. Uh, and it is a very popular show. And she has had her national profile uh, heightened over the last uh, week and a half. Uh, probably would not be her choice. She would rather not be uh, in the news for having to just talk so emotionally about uh, these protests and about the death of George Floyd. And yet she has been front and center uh, in the national spotlight. Uh, talking not only about uh, the need for change here in Atlanta, but the need for change nationally, so much so that her name is actually now being mentioned uh, as a possible running mate for Democratic 
uh, the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee, uh, Joe Biden. Uh, she has sort of become a part of that conversation, as has Stacey Abrams, uh, another local here in, another local politician here in Atlanta. Uh, and she just had a, an, an op-ed piece that she wrote, an opinion piece that she wrote for the New York Times that uh, was, uh, got a lot, of, a lot of attention yesterday when she talked about uh, how even though she is in charge of the police, that they answered to her that the first call she had to make the other night was to her own son. And she had to tell him it is not safe for black boys to be out on the streets right now. Uh, and so she really comes at this story from a, a number of very interesting perspectives, uh, unique perspectives that, that give her a voice that a lot of other politicians do not have. And her leadership, as you said, has kind of thrust her into the forefront. She was part of a, a round table with the Democratic presidential presumptive uh, candidate, uh, Joe Biden. She also accepted a challenge from Barack Obama, former president. She said that uh, because of what happened here in Atlanta when those two college students were uh, tased and then um, the police officers were afterwards uh, fired and now charges against them, she plans to issue an executive order establishing a commission of stakeholders and organizers to examine Atlanta's use of force policies and call upon them to make recommendations accordingly. So uh, this is a story we're going to continue to follow. Ashley Thompson is marching with uh, the mayor of Atlanta throughout the streets as we are in our second or rather seventh consecutive day of protests throughout the city. They are far more peaceful and uh, we hope that that will continue tonight. Yes.